yoga isn't enough. Meditation isn't enough. Martial arts, dance, all these beautiful body-mind practices, they're simply not enough. And uh, the reason I'm saying this is I'm quite disturbed that I see a lot of my friends involved in these practices. And if they were also doing positive things out in the world, that would be, would be very constructive. Um, however, what I see is they're not just using these practices to support themselves, to be healthy, to do the best they can do for themselves. That makes a lot of sense, right? But they're, they're using it instead of doing anything constructive. Also, I've noticed this in myself, that instead of doing something socially constructive, I'm actually just saying, well, I'll just work on myself. I'll, I'll get myself together. When I'm, when I'm perfect, then somehow, uh, you know, my, uh, then, I'll, then I'll do it. Or maybe um, my good example will be enough, you know? It's like if, if people were in Nazi Germany and they um, recycled enough and they were sort of good enough, that somehow the Nazis would go, oh, look at that great example, I, sh I should do that. Yeah, and I know the Nazis always use an example, but it's extreme, but it, it shows, right? It shows my point that actually simply being healthy, simply setting a good example, um, while this is a great foundation, it's good to walk your talk, yeah? Um, Gandhi said, be the change, but, but Gandhi didn't just say be the change. He was also uh, essentially a radical economic terrorist to the British Empire. He undermined the economic base of the British Empire. He was involved with all kinds of hardcore social action. So yes, be the change, but don't just be the change. So yoga, meditation, all these nice things we do, they are simply not enough.